Hello, if you don't know who I am, my name is Zach Lara and I've been coaching on Rocket League for over four years now. I do coaching with all my subscribers on Twitch, whether it's through Amazon Prime, paid on your own, or gifted by a member of the community. So if you guys do want to come by and say hello, I do go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm also a coach on Medify, so if you guys wanted to book a session directly with me, those links will be down below, and I'd love to get a coaching session in with you. We also do give away random coaching sessions to subscribers here on YouTube, so if you're lucky like this person, you just want a free coaching session, please message me down in the Discord so we can go ahead and set up that free coaching with you. I do want to say thank you guys so much for all your support. It honestly means the world. So let's go ahead and dive into this replay. That's unfortunate. So you did everything fine. I want you to go. I want you to actually fully go to Pizza Slice just so you don't get caught up. But what happened here is Quake left just a little bit too early because Quake's, you know, already out of Pizza Slice already. And he's already kind of cheating up, which then right here, it puts him in a really tight situation because if Lucky gets beat here, so will he. And that's the kind of thing I think a lot of people get impatient. Just literally just what they did. They all started running down the field prematurely, which then if you would have beat them at the midline, all three of them would have gotten beaten. This literally what's going to happen here is because they're so close to each other. If uh, Lucky gets beaten, they'll both get beaten, which is why he had to then turn around this way, which is then going to turn around this way, which is going to make your rotation like have to hit the brakes here. You know what I mean? So it's, yeah. just, it's just kind of just like initially slowing down. And then when it's time to make your play, you make the play. Because honestly, you're looking great here. You have a nice little rotation going around. Uh, your free ball, lots of boost. But because he kind of got beat and then turned back around and going again, it's going to make it a little tough on your, you know, your situation. And plus, you had a free ball in possession. I would like to say you weren't going to hit it away for free, but that's what would happen here. Free ball. Okay, same situation with you as well. Uh, just that little bit of like premature running down the field. I would actually be patient here. I would just wait just a little bit. If he gets possession here, then maybe I go forward. We don't want this right. ball to beat both of us. Because what that does is that keeps you guys both on defense because Quake's not even at the pizza slice yet. So if you guys both right. get beat yeah. here, you're going to be sit sitting here for another rotation. And even though you did get a touch there, it still wasn't enough to suffice to push out yourself on offense. So you overextended there. Okay, so I've seen you do this twice here. But this is kind of just nitpicking on just the way you're kind of moving around the field. Um, once yeah. you go supersonic, you can't go any faster. So if you're using boost to go supersonic, which we don't want you to do, we want you to flip and then boost, but you already use boost to go supersonic and then you flipped. So okay. that, that's just going to hurt you because right now you can't turn. You can't do anything until your wheels land again. So let's make sure that once we're supersonic, you're good. You're not flipping anymore. I would like you to implement a flip now and boost and then stop right. boosting. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as you go supersonic and you flip, you got to wait to land before you can make a movement. I love how you left that there. I, it looks like you wanted to go, <laughs> but you just decided to wait. So perfect. If you ever are turning around, just like before, how uh, Quake turned around, that is you literally telling yourself that you're too close and you don't feel comfortable. And that's literally what yep. we're seeing right here. So like this, definitely just go to that pizza slice. There is zero value that you can add right now by going forward. Just go ahead and go to that pizza slice. Just fully extend there, especially since you guys are all bunched up right here. Big thing I've been seeing that professional players doing is they're cheating on the same side of the field when they're on their offensive passing here. So from here, the, pal the path I really want you to take is just right on these boost pads. So we kind of deviate to the corner over here, which is not there. But if we would be riding these boost pads, you'd be almost full boost uh, by the time we make the play. And also you can start cruising and flipping on this side here. So a big thing is when we are playing the second man role, because are you playing for the win or the loss for Quake here? Uh, loss. Okay, so if we are going to be playing for the loss. I definitely want you to then pause and stop by right here at this midline. Play it for the loss. Give yourself some space and some room to read what's going on and what's, you know, for the play. If you're playing for his pass, then you need to be um, overextended on those boost pads to the left. So we're going to go ahead and slide over here as if you would want on the boost pads instead. So you would be sitting at 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and that ball would have went over your head. So at this point, the pass isn't there. You rotate out and you leave because you should be having a lucky or a third man on the same side losing side for this play over here to pick up this ball here so you never look to see where lucky was so i don't know if this was uh, instinct to go for that ball i don't know if there was calm saying hey i'm not going to be there go for that ball but that definitely happened here in regards to that but traditionally if you're playing that third man role as a loss you want to be back here because he was going to pass you the ball for free here mylon was uh, you take the ball okay. for free here or you play overextended for the win, and then if it's a loss, then you continue to rotate out of the play. So either of those are fine. We're just in a little bit of a gray area, which is why like when you decide to make a challenge, your car is, again, not facing forward, kind of facing sideways and backwards here. So 
that's just what happens a lot when you're playing in that gray area. Yeah, it's a, the 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 comment on not talk not fig I didn't look back to see luck. Yeah, I kind of know just by playing with him. Like, if I have to cross midfield, like center, uh, I don't know what you would call that, long ways. If I have to cross the goal, I generally will rotate out, and I'll let I'll let luck. Like luck is gonna have a way better position on that than I am, unless it's in their half. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, that, that's also like that's just kind of things like you don't know because you're used to playing with them. I don't know comps. You know, this is just kind of things we don't have here. So, okay. So awesome. So I'm glad it still worked out here. But I kind of want to know like your thought process here because it looked like you had a good turn on it, a good beat on it. But what was your thought process from here on here? So I I know Quake has no boost. The Hundo wasn't there. I know he's going all the way back. I'm gonna be over here for the win, and Quake by that point should be able to make it make you know get a, gather enough boost to be able to be good at third. Okay. So I would like to get you because it kind of seems like when you're reading this play, so you're over on this opposite side here. You cut in like you're gonna go play for the win, but then you make this cut over here, and it puts you on this opposite. Like you're outside the goal line. You can kind of see on the, uh, the ground here. So you can tell you're outside the goal line. So you're actually on the opposite side. So for this pass to make it all the way through here is not a very high percentage play. Has to get past one, get past two. Third one's irrelevant to make it a goal. Like so, we're asking for a lot. Not saying it can't happen because it literally just did. But to asking for that to happen is not is not a lot. So my car is my camera is just as fast as your car. I want to see if this is even possible for me rotating because the way I would want you to rotate is on those boost pads on the opposite side. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fly while you're driving. We rotated out. You went to the hundred boost pad. We're looking over here. So I would have actually cut on these boost pads right here and would have tried to shoot that one. I don't know if I could have made it because that was happening pretty quickly. And we both rotated to the 100 boost um, thing that I would have liked you to do would be rotate on the pads out here. So let's go and reverse you a little bit more here. I would have liked you to hit these pads 12, 24, 36, 48. But this actually this actually would have pushed you actually perfect then. You would have been here in time if you would have just hit those pads instead of going all the way out to the 100. So like I said, my, my camera is just as fast as your car. So that was actually a perfect yep. example. Um, and th that's kind of between being there ready for the, in my, in my mind was managing their own, their boost. Um, like kind of working on starving them, taking, you know, taking their stuff too, and still being able to get there kind of best of both worlds. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. And honestly, in, in this play, you know, taking the 100 boost is not a bad play. Um, you following up for another shot here. Uh, is not really the play just because you guys just did a passing play. You guys were just overextended, uh, which well, you can't be overextended for too long or you're going to forfeit your offensive pressure. So you have to have that uh, high intensity overextension and then a release. And that's where the, that, that solo play will happen from that third man. So you need to uh, alleviate that pressure without it, you know, blowing back onto your defensive end. So with you cutting over here, it actually worked out because you're on this opposite side of the field. But what I would like you to do is to start getting on this side of the field. What that does is since you're here, you can now shoot the ball now because right. it's now across the goal line. If you're over here, you literally have to wait for it to get through all these defenders for you to be able to make this play on, on target here. So it's okay. just that you're, you're, um, the very, there's a lot more variables over here and there's a lot more obstacles. There's a lot, this is less the higher percentage chance of scoring. The other thing too is when you're rotating this way, which way are you going to rotate out after this play? You're rotating that way or that way. Because Lux rotating anyway, the, your whole rotation is going this way. So right. by you being on this winning side as well, and say you were late to this or the pass doesn't arrive, you and Luck get to rotate out the same side of the field. Like he was going to go this way, and you guys both go this way, and then you have Quake playing for the losing side because the, you guys have your rotation established. Yeah, you're supersonic there. So we definitely want to make sure that once we're hitting that supersonic here, that we're not using any more boosts. I don't know if it's because you knew you were going to get the 100 boost, or you're like kind of whatever at that point. But uh, I do see us using a lot of boost while we are supersonic. Okay. No, that's, that's a good that's a good call. It's definitely something I can improve on pretty quickly. Hey, where's Lucky at? So this is good. Lucky's rotating across the field. You're rotating the opposite side of the field. So here, so you went for that 100 boost there, and I don't see it even spawned in yet. Uh, let's let's get this as an in a habit that we are grabbing. 12, 24, 36. 36 can okay. almost get you to the ceiling. 24 is plenty to make a save, let alone 36. Are you going to be able to air dribble across the field? No. 
But in this situation, I wouldn't be going for this 100 boost unless I knew that there was someone in the net. If there's someone in Pizza Slice or someone like that has yet to make a play in the net, then it wouldn't be a bad thing to go for the 100 boost because one, that's going to cr naturally create that separation because you don't want to just rotate here and have to wait. Right. Because if you have 100 boost and you're back here waiting, then unfortunately there's no other play. But if you're here with like 12 boost and you're like waiting on the next person to go, it's like, okay, we, we did something wrong here. We need to pick up some more pads. We need to change our rotation a little bit to, to one, create some space and also pick up some, some boost that we're here ready to go. If you're showing up here at 12, you're not ready to go. Like you showed up, but like you didn't, you know, you're not ready. <laughs> so this play is awesome. Like the demo there. I would like you to get 12, 24, 36. Oh, you didn't even get the 100 boost here. No, it wouldn't. It, it didn't pop. Okay, so then definitely. So we get the 20, 24, 23, unfortunately, whatever, but 24. <laughs> um, let's, def <laughs> let's definitely get you to uh, grab those pads. That, that just needs to be a habit. One, two, and three. And that's what also will kind of let you know on who's in the net, who's shooting. Just That's just going to be the route that uh, we're going to really try to push you to go for. I love this route here because you are first for whatever reason. I'm not sure what happened. I think they double committed. But yeah, you are first here. But this right-hand turn, we want to get rid of this. If you get beat, okay. you get beat. It's completely fine. This is threes rotate to the left because you have someone playing for your loss you and quake are both going the same side up here now you guys are both rotating front, uh, front post not really a lot of options and we have someone rotating back post here so this is again this is lux ball it is lux ball because literally we just how we just saw three players just go for the same ball uh, in this right. rotation because you guys both rotated this way that's coming in so one two three quake didn't commit too much but he kind of you know what i mean just depending on what's happening looks like he'll be first oh yeah here we go same side of the field yeah i like that you just have so many more options when you're on the same side of the field you don't have yeah. to wait for it to cross so pass doesn't make it rotation actually flips nice job i actually like how you left the play waited the midline and decided are you gonna be two you're gonna be three what are you doing like i said just coming resetting back here is just gonna be the better option most of the time so my philosophy my philosophy is whoever touches pizza slice first is gonna be the next one to go so this would be lux first Quake would be second, and then you would be third. But yeah, you cut him off here. So if he was actually going to go and run into you, that would have been super unfortunate. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Luck went too early. That's going to hurt your defense. And the reason why I'm pointing it out, because I know we're not talking about luck. We're not doing things for luck, but I just see you doing that as well. So as, as much as possible that I see that happening is what I'm just going to point it out. Because luck needs to be playing the loss of Quake. Because if you guys both could be here, the double commit. And then now, now all of a sudden, you're having hit reverse and just to create that space there so now yeah. not every time is it going to be as perfect as that sometimes it's going to get messy seven tries every night's a gamble even when i turn off all the lights all i see are puzzles yeah i'd rather be dreaming floating